Honeybees play a vital role in our food supply, pollinating as much as 40% of our fruits and vegetables. Honeybee health has become a concern, with large numbers of bees dying or just disappearing due to colony collapse. I visited with Mike Hood, a professor of entomology at Clemson University and the Extension Service Bee Specialist. We met and talked at the Bee Building, the workshop where beehives get made and honey is extracted. Clemson is preparing to host the South Carolina Beekeepers Association annual meeting in July. How important are bees to our national well-being, to our well-being? As far as uh, the food which we're, we consume in the U.S., about one-third of that food is honeybees are dependent on uh, to help produce that food for, through pollination. And uh, without the honeybees, we would have to revert to purchasing food from other countries or we would have to do without a lot of the fruits and vegetables that we consume. It sounds like bees make a significant economic contribution to our food production. Yes, about $14.6 uh, billion dollars is the estimate that is placed on the value of honeybee pollination in the U.S. In, in South Carolina, we, we produce about $25 million worth of uh, crops like watermelon, uh, cantaloupe, squash, depend, that are dependent on honeybees, and, uh, which is a, a considerable amount of money for our state's agriculture. Um, not only that, but we have honeybees which contribute to the local garden. If you're a home garden, you need bees to pollinate your cucumbers, melons, uh, squash, and beans, and whatever. And um, we estimate that to be another $20 million value just for home garden pollination. What's caused some of the losses of the bee colonies? Yeah, um, we have discovered um, over the last four or five years that we have uh, many viruses that we did not know we had in our honeybees. Uh, some of those viruses we already had that uh, just were not a problem, but now they are a problem. Other viruses and uh, other disease have been imported accidentally into the U.S. and they are causing problems. Uh, other problems is the uh, pesticide issue. The beekeepers themselves have used pesticides to control the parasitic mites. And there's a chance that lethal uh, doses of pesticides could be affecting our bees more than we know. And we've done a little research on that topic here at Clemson University. Um, other problems is nutrition, uh, honeybee nutrition. Uh, there's just not enough pasturage in many areas of the state to, to provide a good source of protein, um, pollen, for our bees. And they are deficient, perhaps, and uh, we're having to work to improve the nutrition of our bees. We're coming up with some um, uh, additives that we can feed our bees and help in that area. How significant has the reduction in bee colonies been? Overall in the U.S., uh, since the colony collapse phenomenon, which is uh, a term that we call when a colony where all the bees just disappear, leaving behind brood and certainly wasn't a planned situation, um, that happened beginning about four or five years ago. And uh, we started losing about 30 to 40 percent of our bees on average at that time. Some beekeepers, commercial beekeepers, were losing 80 percent of their colonies, which was a very significant loss in a very unsustainable situation. But there was a survey conducted back in the winter of this year, and we're still losing nationally about 30 percent of our bee colonies. What's the status of bees in South Carolina? Are we in a pretty good place? Believe it or not, uh, in South Carolina, uh, we have not had to deal with the colony collapse disorder in a major way. Uh, perhaps it is present, but it certainly is uh, very minimum. However, we have other problems, uh, queen problems, we have nutrition problems, uh, we have pesticide problems, so we're not immune to all these things, uh, whereas nationally we're losing 30 to 35 percent of our colonies overwintering. In South Carolina, we lose maybe 20 percent. So we're not being hit quite as hard as 
we are nationally. Um, over the years, we've been fairly stable. We've had about 30,000 managed colonies in the state, and um, we've lost a lot of beekeepers due to the problems that have come about, such as the parasitic mites. Uh, but due to the um, South Carolina Master Beekeeper Program, which is, um, is uh, sponsored by the Extension Program at Clemson University, uh, in coordination with the South Carolina Beekeepers Association, we have been able to bring on new beekeepers over the past 15 years. And we've replaced a lot of those old beekeepers who gave up or passed away. So we've been able to remain fairly stable in South Carolina. There's a meeting coming up of the beekeepers. Could you tell me a little bit about it and what the name of the or organization is? Yes, the South Carolina Beekeepers Association, we're having our annual summer meeting at the Pool Agricultural Center on campus on the uh, 14th through the 16th of uh, July. And uh, we will probably have a couple of hundred beekeepers from throughout the state here. What are some of the topics that will be discussed at the meeting? Uh, some of the topics that so we're all actually going to offer a intermediate level beekeeping short course the first day of the meeting. And then uh, we're also offering a queen rearing workshop for beekeepers who'd like to raise their own queens. And then we'll have uh, on Friday and Saturday many uh, general session topics that we will uh, present. And also on Friday afternoon we'll have several workshops in the afternoon. Queen rearing workshops, what's that about? Uh, yeah, uh, most beekeepers uh, order their queens from other sources. Uh, from folks who make their living from raising queens. But now we have a lot of beekeepers in the state who are more interested in raising their own queens. And it takes some experience, know-how, and uh, we're gonna offer a couple of workshops to do this. Why is the queen so important to a hive? Yeah, the queen is uh, the most important uh, female in the colony, uh, mainly because she is producing those 1,500 eggs a day uh, during the spring and early summer in order to build the colony up so that there's plenty of bees in the colony to take advantage of the nectar flows which hit probably mostly in April, May, and early June. Okay, so she has got to contribute there because if there's not enough bees to do the job, the work, they cannot be productive and, and uh, survive the winter because they have to make enough honey during those two or three months in order to survive the winter and have enough food to get through. What's the value of raising your own queens? Well, the value is, um, first of all, is economics, not having to pay $20 for a queen. Over the last three or four years, the, the price of queens have almost doubled from $10 back four or five years ago. Now a queen normally costs about $20. Uh, also, these queens don't necessarily last very long. Normally, a queen is productive for about two years, but now we're lucky if we get one year from a queen uh, because she lays 1,500 eggs a day in the summer and early spring, and she'll build up a colony of about 60,000 bees. But many beekeepers would like to avoid the, the cost of having to pay for queens and they would like to raise their own. The other reason is because they would like to raise queens which are productive in their area. Uh, many of our beekeepers get queens out of South Georgia. Perhaps those queens are not acclimated as well as they would be if the beekeeper were able to raise their own queens locally. Uh, and they can control the, the matings they can select the best queen in their operation to, queen, to raise other queens from, and they can do it themselves. What's caused the rise in the cost of queen bees? Uh, yeah, the overall cost of uh, beekeeping, number one, uh, it is labor intensive to raise queens and to have bees in general, uh, but the cost of labor has gone up. Uh, the cost of equipment has gone up. Um, and our losses of bee colonies has been a cost to us because of, of factors of, uh, that we haven't been able to control, 
has caused beekeeping to be more expensive.